Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of OVW Mania here on Triple Threat Talk. I am Brian Cannon, and I'm going to be talking about episode number 735 this week. It was the huge fall season premiere of OVW that they filmed for uh, their online viewing and, of course, WBNA Ion 21. Um, for all the details, you can go to ovwmania.blogspot.com. But here is a quick rundown of what happened uh, starting on the main show. Uh, Michael Hayes, Muhammad Ali Vayez, your current OVW Southern Tag Team Champions, uh, came out to commentary to watch the best team ever defeat the Marauders. The best team ever is now the new number one contenders for the OVW Southern Tag Team Championships. And um, they will be fighting at SNS for those titles. Uh, the Marauders kept trying to interfere, but the best team ever was able to hit their finisher on Joe Coleman for the victory. Uh, the Young Guns Challenge, Evan Markopoulos and Dylan Bostic, uh, that match got thrown out. It was a no contest because both of them kept trying to cheat using, uh, they both, they both tried pulling, pulling each other's tights and using, uh, chains. And once they both got chains out of their tights, uh, referee Josh Ashcraft just said that it was enough and uh, threw the match out. The Pope, Elijah Burke, defended the t TV title against Flash Flanagan in a rematch from last week. And again, the Marauders tried to interfere, but to no avail. Pope hits the uh, double knee face buster on Flash and retains the OVW TV title. Then a match between Marcus Anthony and Jay Bradley. Marcus goes to hit a um, backflip game of punch off the top rope. A very impressive looking move. Jay Bradley rolls out of the ring, however. Marcus starts chasing him to the back, but uh, decides to get back in the ring. As he's getting back in the ring, Jay Bradley sneaks out uh, behind him, gets in the ring, and Marcus turns around into a broomstick, and Jay Bradley gets the victory. In another grudge match, um, James Moose Thomas and Paradise fought. Uh, Moose hits the moose kick and then continually pounds Paradise head into the mat just like he had did with uh, Eddie Diamond the week before and um, Eddie Diamond came out to try to uh, try to help Paradise but he got a moose kick as well and uh, Moose was going to try to use a chair on one or both of them and uh, the save came then from Jamin Olaventia the OVW heavyweight champion uh, Timmy Danger grabbed a mic and said, uh, do we have your attention now? So it appears that um, Moose is looking to grab the gold. And uh, at the next Saturday Night Special, we will probably see Jamin Olaventia and Moose one-on-one -on -one for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Uh, the big match of the night, of course, was the Fatal 4-Way Ladder Match. And we had a very special guest ring announcer, OVW alumni and uh, Impact Wrestling ring announcer, Christy Hemi, who I got a picture with here. And then in that main event, it was the Blossoms, Lady Toppa, and Taylor Hendricks all trying to climb the ladder to become new OVW Women's Champion. In the end... Taylor was knocked out, uh, the Blossoms knocked Toppa from the ladder, and then in a surprising move to some, Hannah Blossom knocks off her own sister Holly from the ladder to grab the title and become your new OVW Women's Champion. So that'll be interesting to see the dynamics over the next couple weeks between Hannah and Holly, what happens with them. Uh, it looks like at the next Saturday night special, which comes your way Saturday, October 5th at the Davis Arena, we've already got two big matches lined up. The best team ever against Muhammad Ali Vayez and Michael Hayes for the OVW Southern Tag Team titles, as well as a possibility it looks like we're going to see Jamin Olivencia defend against James Moose Thomas for the OVW Heavyweight Championship. Um, don't forget more details. Uh, dark match results, you can go to ovwmania.blogspot.com, check out what's going on there, um, including there was a big six-man tag main event between the VIP club and the champions, uh, Jamin Olaventia, Michael Hayes, and Mohamed Ali Baez. And uh, don't forget this episode, uh, if you weren't there live and you want to see it yourself because it was an incredible show, um, will be 
is always online starting on Thursdays on Blip.tv and of course over wrestling.com. And of course on regular TV, you can check it out on uh, here in the Louisville area on WBNA Ion 21, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m., Sunday evenings at 6 p.m., and Wednesday evenings at 9 p.m. following WWE's main event. Speaking of WWE, um, make sure you check out SmackDown on Friday, uh, which will be September the 20th, because OVW Heavyweight Champion Jamin Olivencia was used. Now, it sounds like um, he didn't fare too well because they threw him in a match against Ryback, but still, exposure for Jamin. Um, hopefully, it'll lead to bigger and better things for him. Uh, it's one of those things with with being an OVW fan. You're you're always um, you always love seeing the the wrestlers here and uh, getting to know them and you know becoming big fans of them. But at the same time, um, you know, especially somebody like Jamin, who I think deserves a big shot, whether it's TNA or WWE, um, you you, you want to see them uh, rise and be able to uh, go on to bigger and better things, even though you're going to miss them down here. But uh, hopefully <clears throat> that was kind of like a uh, another look tryout for Jamin and that um, maybe maybe some big things are coming his way from them. Uh, so make sure you check out SmackDown. Um, uh, this was kind of short and sweet this week, but uh, I want to thank everyone once again at OVW. Uh, I talked to Michael Hayes at the show um, Wednesday night, and you know he's even trying to do more things to help me uh, help my blog get get out to more people. Um, thanks as always to uh, like referee Chris Sharp and uh, Terry Bodie, which you can follow at ref Chris Sharp and at TP Bodie. Um, they're always real good about sharing and retweeting my news and information. And uh, thanks everyone out there for watching Triple Threat Talk and especially this OVW Mania segment. Uh, that's all I've got for today, so have a great week, and we will see you once again next week. But for now, back to the guys in the Triple Threat Studios.